Good day, Virgo viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy, and thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel, and also hitting that notification bell. That will let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. Today, I am just shuffling for the overall energy for this general reading for May 2024 for the Virgo Collective. Um, this is general reading, not personal, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what does the Virgo Collective need to hear for the overall energy for this reading for May 2024? What does the Virgo Collective need to hear for May 2024? What do they hear for the greatest good in overall energy? Thank you. Okay. So there's going to be an opportunity for you to leave a situation you no longer feel comfortable in. Um, and this isn't going to be, this message isn't going to be for all of you, but this is something that maybe you've been hoping for. This could be like for a job. Maybe you were um, posted in a different department or um, you have been looking for another job or maybe, you know, a side hustle or a second um, form of, of income. So there's going to be something you're walking away from and you're being divinely guided to do this. I believe this is something that you've thought about, something that you've wanted. You've just haven't had the opportunity to do so. The opportunity is coming up or has come up. And this is going to be a sign from the universe that this is the direction that you should be heading. Maybe so, I just heard like somebody may have nominated you for a position or for um, like a chair in an office. Maybe there's like... Um, a association or something that has like a, a chair people and somebody nominated you as one of the chair people um like i just feel like there's going to be opportunities for you like to walk away from one position and into another position that's going to be more lucrative and abundant for you and your life um I feel like you're at a point now where you're seeking balance with this Angel of Balance card. This could be a Libra um, that you're working with or dealing with. But this opportunity where you might have a lot of Libra in your charts, this is going to be an opportunity for you to get a life of balance. Maybe you're trying to create like a work-life balance, whereas you were just all about strengthening your career or going forward in your job space. Or um, you might have formerly been very career-driven, but now maybe you started a family or you got married and your focus has changed and therefore you want your lifestyle to change. So you may be seeking that a balance between the two, or this could even be, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, if you're starting the date again or something along those lines, it's like a, a career new partner balance or um, something along those lines. So you're trying to balance between two things, um, but it's important that you recognize these opportunities as they come because it's your chance to take these opportunities and grab the bull by the horns while they're here opportunities don't last forever energy is fluid and constantly changing like i always tell people i don't i'm not a a fortune teller i don't can't read the future but i can read energy and energy is so fluid that what's here one week might not be here the next so you have to grab the opportunities while they're in front of you um, and act on them. 
and um, if you and you always have the free will to do so. Now, if you decide not to, that's fine too, um, because you have that free will. Maybe it's not an opportune time for you to delve into something new. Um, maybe you have people who depend on you and you can't take the, the opportunity to walk away from somebody. Maybe it's something you want to think about for your future, but at least your wheels are turning. At least you're, you're like, you know what, maybe that's something that I'd like to do, um, in a couple of years when my kids are grown or off to college or whatever. Um, you know, every situation is going to be different, but I feel like there's a real... There's something that you're, now for others, it's going to be about walking away from a situation that you've been locked in. Okay. When I look at this card, okay, I see a gate that's finally opening and I see sunshine that she's following. She's walking right towards it. And I was told to look at the scissors cutting ties with the past as she's walking away from it. Um, this is something that you're being guided to do. There's something that you have to say goodbye to in order to move on into the light, into your radiant future. So for some of you, it's going to be about, you know, um, creation or getting ahead in a job or whatever but for others of you it's it's about walking away from the past and moving forward and cutting off ties and not thinking twice about it yes you're going to hold memories with certain places and things and people um but overall you'll have this abundant bright future that you're walking towards and only you can make those changes by heading towards it um, to create this balance that you deserve. All right, so let's move ahead into our tarot. Let's see what the tarot has. Spirit, I am shuffling for the Virgo Collective. And the overall energy. And what they need to do. No for their greatest good. What messages does Virgo need to hear for their greatest good for May 2024? What does the Virgo Collective need to hear? Thank you. Thank you. Can we just have one more card to get started? Thank you. Okay, so... I'm seeing that somebody or something that you thought was a scam or a scammer or untrustworthy has actually proven to be a good person or trusted resource. Um, you are able to put your trust in them and it's getting rid of this anxious feeling that you've had. Um, this might be a situation that you've chosen. For some reason, I got um, a clear picture of like somebody moving on and maybe doing something for the first time, maybe, you know, living by themselves for the first time, um, or separating from everything they've known for the first time. Maybe you're moving away from your family and you've accepted a job that's hundreds of miles away or something along those lines. And you've had a lot of anxiety about, um, you're putting that to rest and, um, like it's a relief and you feel like now you can trust the situation. Um, I'm also feeling that some of you think that you have limited opportunities in something. Like you might be staying in a situation because you don't think there's anything better for you. Um, I'm seeing that there are more opportunities coming in for you. 
there is you're never just stuck in one situation is what I'm hearing is what spirit's telling me you're never stuck in one situation um you might feel that way but you're not you're not stuck you're choosing um you're going to have to choose to to realize that you have multiple options you're never going to be stuck in one situation you just have to look for the opportunities and it's so important it's going to be so important for you to look for these opportunities because they're out there so you're not stuck in any situation um and like i said with these with you freeing your mind and trusting your higher power and your instincts and your gut you're going to see how much of that anxiety and um anxiousness same as anxiety and depression just rolls away because you're being present and you're trusting and this is the the place where you're supposed to be and you're there for a reason now i do see you trying to learn something new or something new is coming into your life some kind of maybe you're taking classes or um there's some higher education coming in for you there's some you're involving in some way shape or form um you're but it's a chance for you to learn something new i just heard can't teach an old dog new tricks well that is not true you are going to be learning something new very soon this might be some kind of something at work maybe they're changing um you know a program or software um i just also heard that this might be um some clarity coming in for you in a situation um maybe you have been waiting for an answer for somebody or a message maybe there's something you've been trying to or somebody that you've been trying to contact or um you they've been trying to contact you but this message is going to be coming in for you really really soon um you might be learning something new about somebody like maybe something you didn't know before um maybe you're just starting to get to know somebody and they're sharing their life stories with you or something or maybe a silly story and um you're finding out something new that you weren't aware of before um but yeah so this is opportunities to learn something new to get some, to know somebody to get to know something like i said you could be taking classes or it could be learning something new at work but something new and exciting is coming in for you that you're it's really going to actually interest you is what i just heard it's not going to be boring it's going to actually interest you and you're probably going to want to delve more into it um but this is you getting started in that in that direction all right, so what else does the Virgo Collective need to hear? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Not for right now. Okay. So um, things might have been um, chaotic so far this year. <laughs> you know, we're in May right now, but I feel like you've had... A difficult start to the year now this is a general reading and is timeless but you know right now we're in May 2024 and you you're starting you're gonna to start to see less chaos things are going to start to settle down in your life you're going you're going to start to feel a lot more vibrational energy pickup which means that that energy is going to come right back to you you're going to feel more lively uh, you're going to want to get out and do things you're going to want to make yourself present and in, in the outside outside of your home you're going to want to go out and do stuff and be social um you're going to feel a lot better about doing these things because you feel a lot better about yourself whatever has been going on is calming down and in turn you're calming down so you're going to see this overall over like a blanket over your whole energy your whole like any your work your um schooling your job like i mean your emotions your 
eating, like your health, your everything is going to start calming down and starting to become a little bit better and a lot more, you're going to be a lot more uplifted. Now I did get the eight of cups in the challenge position. So I feel like some of you are on the fence about walking away from something. This could be a job, this could be a relationship, but it seems to the outside world that things are, are pretty cool. Like to the outside world, they'd be like, oh, Virgo, you, your job, you, you know, you have great benefits. You have, you know, you get paid good. Why are you thinking about leaving? Like, I don't understand. Like, so, but there's some piece that just you're missing, you know, and it could be the same thing about a relationship. You know, every, you know, this person does, is awesome. They, you know, they're there for you in this, they did this for you, you know, you seem to, but there's something missing. You know, they're not giving you everything, um, you know, and this could be your family. This could be anything, but there's something that is undiscovered and you're kind of like on the fence, like, yeah, you know what? They're right. I do have an awesome job. Like I, I am making money. I am, you know, like I do have great benefits at work. I have a bunch of days off. Like, why am I not happy? Or, you know, yeah, this person is awesome for me, but there's something that I just cannot connect with. So it's like you just, there's, you're on the fence and it's in the back of your mind. Like, I don't know what to do at this point. So that's your challenge for May. It's like, you're just kind of like frustrated. Um, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure whether to stay or go. Um, but you will figure it out. There's, there's, going to be signs coming for you, but you have to pay attention to them. <laughs> you have to be mindful and present and look for them. Um, so, uh, and you know what? You can ask your guides and guardians to point you towards them if you're unsure, or you can ask them for uh, signs. They're always wanting to help you. You just have to ask them to help you. Yeah, see, more more proof that they're going to be, it's going to be a much calmer time for you. Like I said, you had a rough beginning. You might even be traveling or um, visiting somebody is what I'm hearing. Um, they might live a little bit further. Like you guys, I don't, it might be across water, but I don't feel like for, well, I just feel like you're going to be traveling somewhere. I can't be sure if it's going to be in another continent or maybe they live on an island somewhere <laughs> but there's there might be travel for you but um you might be like you know what the first part of the year was crap so i'm gonna go take myself a little vacation and maybe that's where you're traveling to um i also am getting this healing energy um you this might have been like an addiction to something or a, um, and it, like when I say addiction, it sounds, it sounds terrible. You're like, or bonded to something, or you might be having to cut ties with somebody, but I feel like you're doing it. Um, like in your healing from it, it hasn't been easy. Um, and this could be something massive. Addiction is addiction. You know, it's, it's shitty. And, um, Oh, I hope YouTube doesn't <laughs> block me from saying that, but it is. And um, no matter how you deal with it, it's it's a really rough, rough road. So um, this is a healing energy, whether it's it's an obsession with somebody or an obsession with with a thing, um, say porn or food or um or drugs, or alcohol, or sex, like it could be a myriad of anything. It could be scrolling on your cell phone at night while your, your partner's sitting on the phone waiting for attention from you. It could be anything. Uh, but you're recognizing this, or you should be recognizing this. this is, maybe this is the big like, oh, that might be me moment, the aha moment. Um, maybe this is your aha moment. You're learning. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're, you're 
you want to heal from it. You just aren't thinking like, oh, I may should do something. You want to. You want to be more present for your people. You want to be, um, like I said, you want to live a healthier life. You don't want to create the second half of the year like the first half of the year. You want to move on. You want to be better. All right, so I am going to pull a concluding message for my Virgo Collective. All right. Spirit, I am shuffling for the Virgo's concluding message for May 2024. What do they need to know for their greatest good for May 2024? If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I would love that. Spirit, what do we have for the concluding message? For our Virgos, what do they need to hear? Thank you. Number 39. Okay, so we have Stone Circle in ceremony. You conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into yourself. Ceremony isn't just about magic and manifestation. It is absolutely a moment to channel your power and send your intentions out into the spiritual world. But it's also a moment to yourself, a devotion to the things that are mo most important to you, to who you're working to become, or to the life you've dreamt of for so long. While there is a certain power in elaborate spiritual working, know that magic is also available to you in the small moments of the day. Being present, I just was talking about that. You have found yourself with Stone Circle today because you have been living too fast. You are being guided to see the small magic and notice the blessing signs and energy that are swirling around you. You'll know the small magic by the way it makes you feel. You may notice it in the warm smile of a child or the sudden fragrance of a nearby flower. Or perhaps your favorite song has been playing in the background that has only just now caught your ear. Any moment that grabs hold of you can be a ceremony of mindfulness and rest. Additionally, seek ways to invite more ritual into your daily life as doing so is, is an invitation to awaken the subtle energies all around you and an opportunity to connect with your own spiritual power. That's awesome. So be mindful, be present. Um, connect. Um, you know, even, I mean, I feel like we all have our own um, rituals that we do. And... Uh, I feel like this is a time where you just need to focus on, instead of it being a habit, make it something that you really are paying attention to. All right. So thank you for joining me, Virgo. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for clicking on like and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye, Virgo.